Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me a video and I took a picture of the finished product. It's a young couple that shows how to make this, but they show it in Adobe Illustrator. I'm pretty sure. And it's a three layer process. I did not rehearse this. What I, I normally, on something like this, I normally rehearse it. I'm kind of got to get out of here today. So I typed out the word grace. First of all, you want to do is go to object and convert it to a curve and also go to object and break it apart. And then I'm going to left click, right click into a hairline red. And I need to join these together. So they're broken apart. I'm going to set my nudge factor on 0.2. And I'm going to bring the G in just a little bit. Bring the A to the R quite a bit because I want to cut all this out, I think. Whoop. See what I did? I did not get the center of the A. Did not come with it. There we go. When you have a centerable part, you need to make sure you do that. So there's going to be three layers. One of them is a light pink on the bottom that's solid. Uh, one of them is white that has a white border. So what we need to do is one, I'm going to take a, I'm going to change my nudge factor. This is 295. I'm going to change my nudge factor to 3.5. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this guy and move it down. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to weld it. That, not really. Uh, that is our backer board. Let's try this. Let's go to object shaping and weld. Sometimes this weld works. No, it takes it out. So I'm going to, I did, I did, I made a mistake in a couple of orders. So I'm going to take these out of the way for a second. Whoop. This is kind of working backwards, but. So now I'm going to take this and weld it. Okay. This, when you cut it out, is going to be your backer board. So that is going to be a purple. And let's take the smart fill tool. Well, you can pick the color. I'm just going by this. So we're going to go with a light. I should make it that color. So there is your backer board. That's going to be the pieces that you're going to cut out. And I'm just going to leave it there, but it's going to look like this. It's going to look like hairline. But in this, you can see that every letter has its own border, where if you do this, got to select something. If you do this, they don't have a border between them. I'm going to, I like that pink or that light pink. So what we need to do is make a border. So what I'm going to do with that second one I did, I'm going to take the uh, virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete. I didn't go really too far with that G, but that's fine. I just want one border and I'm going to swipe through there completely. And I'm going to take away the, that part and that part and that part. Now I'm going to make this thicker and I'm going to go from hairline to 12 point. I, 16 might be too thick. And this is a little insight, 12 might not be right. If you want 14 and it doesn't have 14, just type in 14. Now we need to look at this a little bit. Whoop. I moved it, I wanna move it right back because I wanna not, uh, I wanna nudge stuff. Now, this doesn't look good. So I'm gonna open up the Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, I actually had it already open, I didn't, did it on something else. So Windows, Dockers, Join, Dockers, Join Curves. And I'm gonna select, select these two nodes and I'm gonna join them. That looks pretty good. Looking around, everything else looks good. So now what we wanna do, we want, we want, it doesn't really gonna weld. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to object and we're going to convert the, out, out, an, the outline to an object. And then I'm going to left click, right click. We are going to have to take, because I don't think it'll weld. Yes, it does weld. 
So when you cut this out, this is going to be your second piece. And we can take the, this is actually going to be a, well, I want that. So I'm going to make a duplicate of it and nudge it down. I'm going to take this and make it um, a darker purple. And then we nudge this. This is why I nudge, because now I can put this right on top. So that's our top layer. Now we need to make our middle layer. But I want the middle layer out of that. Now I can move this. Uh, you just don't. You just don't want to move the other things you want to nudge. Now to make this work, I've run in this before. I'm going to take the. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use a different color just so you can see it. I'm going to fill this in. And then I've got to group this together. And now I can move my instrument up. My note. I like theirs better because they have some notes, better notes and stuff. You know what? Since it's quite small, we can make it a little bit bigger. Now, select it all and go to intersect. And what that did, that gave you this. Now that's not gonna work, but we can take this now and move it down. Let's move our graphic out of the way. Now, this wouldn't cut out because we got these lines. Now you could virtue segment delete them all, but most of the time, most cases, this is gonna weld and keep your fingers crossed It's, it's got to do a lot of stuff, so it's having, taking a little time. Um, it's having to weld a lot of, a lot of spots. And it worked, because now we have this. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is take this and use white. Of course, you would cut it out with this red but now let's move it over and move it up. Now we're going to have to move one of the layers. Um, see the white is even showing because the, the other part is white. So let's take here. Let's, you know what? Let's go here. Let's go object, order, back a page and take this one. We got the purple. You can see object, order, front of page. Now we should be able to grab that white. We'll have to move it up, object, order, front of page. But we need to move that purple. So I can grab the purple object. And then you won't have this problem when you're gluing it together. So that's... Ah. That's what it's going to look like when painted. You're going to have musical note in it. If you're going to spend this much time doing something like this, I'd, I'd manipulate it and have some more music notes. And even though that looks pretty cool, you know, because the lines, I just created this real fast. Um, I might make a second video later on how to create something like this and bring in some instruments like they have, because I like the saxophone. It adds a lot of detail. But then, so I hope you understand. Each one of these, left click, right click. That's all you need to know. So this is your bottom backer board painted whatever color. This is your middle board and they had it painted white. And this is your top layer. Pretty cool. I'm glad it worked out. I hope that helped them a little bit understand and thank you for watching.